mud, mud. I love your sound. I'm absolutely, positively wild about mud. I can't go around. Not much. And that's a big problem for me. And a big problem for a lot of research is that we don't see any blueprints for these um, buildings uh, that look like they were made in the future, uh, futuristic buildings. Uh, I guess they would say space age. You know, you know that's what. But, but these buildings, like, it's hard to find anything. I'm like, it's hard to find who built these buildings. It's actually hard to find what actually time frame they're actually being built. Um, it's it's real hard. But there are some blueprints. I'll see what I can do. Well, I guess we just have to take your word that these unnamed space age buildings made of brick have hard to find blueprints. Sure, it'd be swell if you had some proof to that claim. If they were hiding the blueprints, you could argue that might be an interesting fact. But I'm not taking your word on that. Martin, what do you think about the Star Forge uh, and the uh, uh, how does it correlate with your, uh, you know, maybe information that you had uh, discovered in your research. Since our hosts don't seem to have the time to tell you what a Starford is, I'll provide some links in my info section below. In short, Starforts were a design of fortification used from the 1500s to around the development of more modern artillery in the 1800s. Since the conspiracy circles, nothing is without hidden Illuminati agenda, the shape of the forts must obviously be significant. They are shaped like a star, so obviously Jew lizards must run the world. For my opinion, star forts, they're all close to the water, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, that makes me think that they needed water for some reason. Oh, we yeah. have them in the form or the shape of the gas drilling or, or uh, oil drilling fracking station. Uh, maybe they needed water for fracking. And this is really the technology, mm -hmm. how they fracking is done. They need water to replace the excavated uh, resources, right? If the jump to oil fracking seems out of nowhere to you, that's because it is. Unsurprisingly, our trio of hosts provide no evidence for their assertion that star forts and oil fracking are connected. If star forts appeared to be built near oil reserves, then maybe I could give your theory some weight. But you need to have some evidence first. People living near water is not a conspiracy. It's about as far away from a conspiracy that you can possibly be. But uh, they are really near the water, right? All on tributaries, every one of them, right? In so, uh, I mean, uh, if we have uh, the tunnel system that could be used for uh, the transportation of the resources between the starports and maybe for, for communication system. So the local people won't, you know, mess with their communication if they dug it underground. So they won't, you know, mess with the ecology, all this forest around and all this stuff. So like... Starforts now have tunnels for transporting crude oil. Are you claiming every starfort would have these tunnels? What is the point of hiding crude oil from the populace? Do you have any pictures of these fort tunnels? No, of course you don't. Why have evidence when you can just make shit up? In fact, uh, many cities, like uh, I told Richard about uh, New England. Of course, how could I forget the world famous city of New England? And uh, I probably they have a bunch of evidence in Pennsylvania. All those shore area of... Uh, Pennsylvania is, of course, very well known for its shoreline. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean in the United States. So yes. probably all the coastal area to the Florida has a bunch of buried star forts. And uh, like, like we have a uh, star fort on the, uh, in the, near New York uh, on some island, little star forts. Are you noticing a very clear lack of actual locations and places and a very definitive missing of images relevant to the topic funny how that works you know this official explanation of the star force that they needed all these ages to counter battery attacks yeah, uh, no, I don't like, maps, yeah. Like, these are Jesuits, so not go with it yeah so uh, why would you need the star force well, in, in, in the sea in, well, in the mean, that's a very good point. Why would a shoreline fortification have to worry about battery or cannon fire? 
what possible cannon fire could come from the water? Preposterous. If you may remember, we're talking about advanced ancients, okay? Um, and I'm thinking that these star forts were sort of like um, earthquake proof, where um, yeah, yeah, that's they was able to give a vibration, right, without breaking apart, okay? Um, um, because, I mean, because that's where the evidence is leading. We build buildings now, there's nothing new under the sun where they can restrain from an earthquake, where if, they, if, if, if there's motion, the building's not going to crumble because it's on a track where it's just going to go with the motion. And Absolutely nothing about a star fort's design helps it make it even remotely earthquake-proof. Have you ever seen an earthquake-proof building design? Did you bother to do the five-minute YouTube search before you started talking out of your ass? No, of course not. That would be asking way too goddamn much. Please, man, please. What's the matter, Emilio? Afraid I'll make a steak? Cannons. 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 Yeah, uh -huh. cannons and cannonballs, you know. Uh, what do you think about that? How could they have so many starfolks and don't have any damage on them, you know, from the cannonballs? Right, exactly. Oh. Right. That's oh. just later on. That's just later on. Um, those cannons are just later on decorations to try to keep us into what those star forts are. But now come to find out that these star forts were magnificent. Like, a, like you say, Richard, and I think you went to the set. I think what they do with these things is how actually create the time. I think it's the same with cannons. I love the huge kind of projection. Oh, it's like those cannonballs. It's like some of the photos that you showed during the Civil War. It's a stage photo. I'm the last one I'm thinking about. He's hiding their hand, showing where these cannonballs are stacked up in a neat, nice pyramid. Right on the ground. Right. Yes, it's all stage, man. It's all, it's it's all stage. There. They're not using them to do dip. No, they're not the, explosive anyway. They knock stuff down. There's a kinetic energy sort of blast, but they're not so, like explosive. No. The U.S. Civil War was famous for educating the world on the uselessness of brick and mortar fortification against proper modern artillery. This is why many forts have earthen walls built around them. Maybe before the crying cannons in the U.S. Civil War as a conspiracy for something? Try opening a textbook. As for the photos being staged, given the cameras of the time, some photos were in fact staged. Others taken from a distance as not interfere with camp preparations. I fail to see how this makes cannons part of your grand conspiracy to hide whatever the fuck they're trying to hide. There were very few actual photos of battle from the Civil War taken because it was the 1860s. I swear to God, you people make this shit up as you go. Photography, what's the official narrative for when photos um, actually was invented? And we, you know, because <laughs> because what they're saying and what we're seeing well, as we're digging is, uh, it, it doesn't make sense. We're, we're seeing HD photos, man, black and white photos that are on the Old timey photos were in fact highly detailed due to the large size of film the image was being captured on. When 35mm became popular, it was criticized for having such small negatives and therefore decreasing the quality of the image. HD, as you say, images are nothing new by any stretch of the imagination. You would realize this, of course, if you managed to pull your head out of the ass for five minutes and actually look something up. Of them also trying to get rid of the uh this stuff, I mean, trying to hide what's in these pictures too, like wires and this. Hello. Bye. Hey, Listen to this, then, right, Richard? It's a guy out there, he does broad photographs, right? He runs some proof forensics and he sends me the proof. And he sends me these, like, ones of early America and he's showing, like, thousands of people on the streets of this, this architecture, right? No shadows. Um, you can see none of these people are actually there at all. Um, and he's been sending me like look, quite a few coming through where they're not actually there. The people are not actually there. They were put in. So why, why would they be doing that? And why are they adding stuff? Why are they taking it away? Why are they adding buildings? Why washing buildings out, Richard? So you only see sky. Why are all of those photographs the same color as sky? Why are they only in a particular way? And where's the snow? Too many questions. Guys. No snow when I have any. In case you could hear Flat Earth British properly, he appears to have seen evidence of photoshop and photo manipulation of old-timey hundred plus year old fo photos in which they added hundreds of people into various scenes and then he goes on to say how he doesn't understand why they would doctor the photos and 
take this out and pull that out. Naturally, the images that appear on the screen as he's talking about ancient photo manipulation is just some random ass artwork and not the photos he's talking about. Their goal appears to be evidence of ancient advanced technology, but they don't show anything. They just talk about things they've seen and don't provide any actual evidence. What am I supposed to do about this? Take your word for it because you're such a reliable person? Do I detect a note of sarcasm? Are you kidding me? This baby is off the charts. <laughs> right. 